In Office 365, you have the option to see where a user has installed Office apps. And we can choose to deactivate those if they're on locations where we have no idea where they came from. So let's go ahead and click on the admin icon. And from here, we can click on edit a user. We don't want to have Office installed in too many places because if we do, that user will no longer be able to continue installing Office and they'll get an error message when they try. So go ahead and click on a user. And from here, we'll see the option for Office installs. So we can click on the view and manage which devices this person has Office apps installed on. Go ahead and click edit and we can see that it's been installed in two different places. And we can say, hey, E. Jones, I don't know where that is or who, who that installed that. So let's go ahead and click deactivate. Now, it's the computer name, not necessarily the username that installed this. Now, it's possible that uh, it got installed on a computer that, uh, that, that this, this person has taken over from a former employee. So that's certainly an option. But in this particular case, we're going to go ahead and deactivate it because we don't recognize that. And we'll go ahead and choose that, click close. And now when that user goes to log in, they're going to get a message. And the message is going to say, your software license for Office is no longer valid. And it's going to give all kinds of pop-ups. Now, it's not going to stop it from working. It's going to continue working. But it can't get any updates. And it's going to constantly get uh, pop-ups like Nagware until they finally decide to either purchase the product or just to go ahead and uninstall it. And we'll go ahead and click Close. Now, if it turns out you made a mistake and that person really did need to have that installed, you can go back to that user's computer, have them log into Office 365, and then they can reinstall the software again. And they can do that simply by clicking on Office 365 and choosing to install the Office product. So that's how you deactivate an Office installation remotely in Office 365.